Dear aviators, welcome to this video where we go for a new adventure. A high speed, low level final glide in the Alps. Join me as I share with you this training flight with the goal of improving my planning and execution skills of a final glide from a low and seemingly hopeless position. The following conditions add to the excitement. Flying below the ridge, through valleys without outlanding options and without the destination Unterwürsen airfield inside. It is important to mention that I'm a learning glider pilot, committed to sharing the art and magic of gliding, including my mistakes and good takes, with the aim of making this beloved sport better and safer together. What you're seeing here is the Steinplatte, with an altitude of 1,800 meter. It is often a key point of many cross-country flights. The final glide from this low position appears almost impossible. Flying close to the ground, no visible outlanding fields, destination not in sight and no way to backtrack once committed to this route. I will now guide you through this route, highlighting important checkpoints to ensure a safe arrival at Unterwürsen airfield. It's important to note that I have previously trained this route with an experienced instructor. I started the final glide from a lower altitude, while aiming to maintain a glide ratio of 20 to 25, simulating the characteristics of a low performance final glide. First checkpoint, the restaurant at Steinplatte. I entered the route below the buildings. It's better to be at the same altitude or above for added safety. From there, I focus on the right ridge, following a potential energy line. By the way, we are crossing borders from Austria to Germany here. Second checkpoint. A left turn into the next valley, tracing along the left ridge. Sometimes northern winds can help to stretch the final glide. Third checkpoint, entering the valley of Reit im Winkel, with one very good option for an outlanding. The outlanding area is at an elevation of 695 meters, 200 meter long and approached from the south. Fourth checkpoint, the antenna at 1000 meter. As long as the glider is on the same level or higher, reaching the airfield at Unterwürsen shouldn't be a concern, even though the perspective might seem still scary from this point. If you're clearly below, just turn around and use the outlanding option mentioned before. Fifth checkpoint. It's a relief to arrive in Oberwürsten, just a few kilometers left to Unterwürsten. There are numerous outlanding options available, just in case. It's time to prepare the radio. Ideally, I should have done this before initiating the final glide to keep my workload relaxed and be prepared for the traffic nearby the airfield. Sixth checkpoint. This is the last bottleneck of the final glide. The airfield is still hiding just behind the ridge. Seventh checkpoint. Done. I announce my arrival at the ridge on the radio, so everyone is informed that another glider shows up. Lessons learned. Why did the situation seem hopeless at the beginning and turn out to be manageable? Let's check the facts. We started at the altitude of 1650 meters above main sea level and choose a route of approximate 18 kilometers to the airfield of Unterwürsen. It took us 7 minutes. We arrived there 770 meters lower in 880 meters. That's a glide ratio of 24 and an average speed of 155 kilometers per hour. We have been never lower than around 200 meters above ground level. 
that's the magic of gliding. Your instinct says that this is far too risky. But with training, calculations and the mindset of curiosity and caution, it is possible to return home safely. But please remember, do not try this at home. Thanks for watching. I'm happy for your feedback in the comments. If you like the content, I'm glad if you subscribe. Take care, over and out.